guys, today I'm going to be doing Tukey's Two Truths and One Lie Tag, and this was created by Hudson, and I will have his channel linked in the down bar. He's awesome. You guys should all go check him out. He's really, really funny, so definitely go check him out and subscribe. And it's just going to be, we're going to be playing basically five rounds of Two Truths and a Lie. There's five categories that he made up, and basically I'm going to tell you guys three things, and then I'm going to pause and let you, or you can pause the video, and you can try to figure out which one you think is the lie and then I'm going to tell you which ones are true and which one was the lie. So honestly, I really don't think my like facts are that good, but I mean, I thought you guys would still enjoy the video. All right, the first category is badass shit. That is what Hudson called it. Number one, I parked illegally at school for three months without getting caught. Number two, I have gotten pulled over three times. And number three, I got so mad at a friend one time that I went to her house with another one of my friends and I slashed her tires. <laughs> time to think. This one probably wasn't that hard. The first truth is the first one I told you guys that I parked illegally at school for three months and I, uh, <laughs> basically I tried to reapply for parking, like senior parking, and my license was like cut off so they said I couldn't have it so I was like, you know what, this is not fair, like I'm a senior, I deserve to park right here with all the other seniors so I just started parking there and I got away with parking there for three months before they put a little boot around my tire and I had to pay um, a fine but it like wasn't a big deal at all. It was actually really funny when I got in trouble the assistant principal was like you've parked here since January like you parked here for three months we've booted cars like six times since then and I was like yeah I guess I just got lucky and the other truth is that I have been pulled over three times uh, two of the times were for speeding and one of the times was from the tint on my car when I shared a car with my brother he had this terribly dark illegal tint on it and um, we got it removed after I got pulled over for it because it was legal and it was it was so ugly anyway like thank god I have my own car now and the lie was that I got so mad at one of my friends that I slashed her tires I'm not gonna lie I've wanted to do that before but I don't think I would actually go that far. <laughs> Category number two is music. When I was 15, I got backstage passes to a Miley Cyrus slash Hannah Montana concert, and I went and I actually met Miley. I love, like legitimately love, dirty, explicit music that is like so terrible, like you don't even want to hear the words because they're so bad, but like, you know, like really good, just like ghetto rap music. I love that. I was actually on MTV. I was a guest of their New Year's Eve live show show and I got to see Neo and Rita Ora perform live right in front of me and I was on TV. So the first truth is about the dirty really explicit music like you guys Tyga, 2 Chains, all that stuff is literally like I love it. I don't even hear the bad words or whatever like I don't even care you guys it's just so fun to listen to and it like makes me happy like I love the beats and I just love really like explicit terrible music like music that you would put on and your mom or dad would be like turn that off right now like you cannot play it in the car with your mom or dad the other truth was that I actually was on MTV I never got to see the show I forgot to like record it but I was with Christy in New York and Christy's sister like works for MTV so she got us tickets to the New Year's Eve live show and we saw Neo and Rita Ora perform but it wasn't actually live it was like a week or something before New Year's but um, that was a pretty cool experience and the lie is that I went to a Miley Cyrus concert and got backstage passes which I don't know if that was hard to believe or not but yeah no that didn't happen I would love to meet Miley Cyrus though okay the next category is secrets or just like general stuff I did not have my first real kiss until I was 17 years old. I have smoked a cigarette. Freshman year, I got written up for cussing at a teacher. All right, so the first truth of those, I feel like that category was kind of difficult. The first truth of those is that um, I didn't have my first real kiss, I don't count it, until I was 17. And yeah, it was a long time, okay? Basically, when I was like 12 or 13, I did have like a kiss, but it was literally like, you guys, it was in a game of truth or dare. It was literally nothing. Like, I don't... <laughs> 
guess that technically counts but you guys like I was literally like I'm not counting that like that wasn't my first kiss so then I decided to count when I was 17 and finally got my first real kiss which I've told you guys that in videos before like I was so late but whatever and the other truth is that freshman year I got written up for cussing at a teacher oh my gosh you guys like I barely even remember this but this teacher like hated me she singled me out in front of the whole class and hated me so much and I didn't actually like cuss at her but I remember we were like reading something and she was like yelling at me and like pissing me off and I like mumbled a cuss word like I don't even remember what it was like I really don't remember you guys I remember to cut I mumbled a cuss word like under my breath and she literally calls me out in front of the entire class and was like what was that young lady and she writ me up in front of the entire class luckily they I don't think she submitted it to the office because I never got called up or anything like I never got in trouble for it but she filled out the slip and everything and yeah that was pretty embarrassing all right and the lie was that I have smoked a cigarette I am proud to say that I have never ever tried a cigarette I have no intentions to it's yucky, it's addicting, and it's just, it's gross. So no, no plans to do that. The third category is school. Oh wait, the fourth category is school. I had to go to summer school after freshman year for failing math by one point. I missed so many days of school that my parents got like a personalized letter sent to them saying that I had missed so many days and that if I missed any more I was gonna be like in legal trouble. I got into every college that I applied to. The first truth is that I have missed so many days of school both this year and last year that my parents have gotten a letter saying how many days I've missed and that if I miss like any more it will become a legal matter which you know that's not good so I'm not planning on missing any more school and then the other truth was that I did get into every college that I applied to woohoo uh, which that's kind of like an exciting one that I wanted to share with you guys because I was just really proud of myself for that and I mean I only applied to five schools but just the fact that they all and a couple of them were reach schools for me and I got into all of them so I was just like really happy about that and the lie was that I had to go to summer school after freshman year. I did not fail math. I have been very close. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've been very close to legitimately like failing a class. But they were honors classes. So I got seven additional points. I don't know if you guys' school does that. So like I have gotten like 70s on report cards. But it, uh, it showed up as a 77 because of... Sorry, I'm touching my hair so much. It showed up as a 77 because of the honors points. So I'm not really like that that bad but I would hate to go to summer school so I'm glad that I've never had to go and the last category is boys I've never had a legitimate real relationship one time I snuck a boy through that window right there there is a roof out there I snuck a boy through the window to come into my room in the middle of the night I'm literally so picky when it comes to boys that I have a mental checklist of qualities that they have to have Okay, the first truth was that I've never had a what I would call a real relationship. I have had little, I guess in my school we call them things with boys, like where you just talk to them for a decent period of time and you hang out and stuff but you don't date. I've had stuff like that. Um, I've had like middle school relationships. Ooh, no, literally <laughs> nothing. Those, those don't count. Um, but like a legitimate like long-lasting relationship nope I have never had one I mean I'm only 18 but it would have been nice I guess the other truth which probably wasn't that hard to guess is that I am so picky when it comes to boys that I have like a mental checklist I don't have like a legitimate checklist but like in my head I am so picky when it comes to boys I have this checklist of what they basically have to be like I do not settle. And the lie, sorry to disappoint you guys, was that I snuck a boy through that window in the middle of the night. I I didn't do that. Okay, so that concludes the tag. Um, I'll put the info if you guys want to do this tag down below. Thank you, Hudson, very much for tagging me. It was super fun. And I think that's about it. So if you guys liked this video and want to see more videos like this, I don't know, leave other requests of videos like this maybe you want to see. And just like this video down below if you did like it so I know. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.